Hello, my name is Barbara Hutchinson and today it's my pleasure to talk with leading clinician Martin Wanadea. Martin is a member and tutor at the Royal College of Surgeons. He is a member of the Association of Dental Implantology, the International Team for Implantology and the British Academy of Cosmetic Dentistry. He has recently taken on the role of President of Peers, Platform for Exchange of Experience, Research and Science, and Martin kindly agreed to talk to me about his vision for the group and his hopes for the future. Could you tell me a little bit about when you first got involved with the Peers Group? I got involved with the Peers Group. This was probably sometime back in probably about 2008, 2009. It was mentioned to me that the Peers Group existed within Dense by Serona. This was after there'd been the merger between Astrotech and Dense by Implants to make the, the, the Dense by Serona kind of body or Dense by Implants, as it was called at the time. And the first meeting I was invited to was at the Global Summit Tour in Nice. And at this point, there was Professor Lyndon Cooper, who was speaking, and there was a couple of other speakers, again, who were all really good. So it was after the main meeting, which had happened on, you know, throughout the couple of days, they had a little side meeting for peers. And at that, what was really nice is that they suddenly, you know, gave a really, really nice level of information and interaction. And that was the first, that was my first introduction to peers, was actually quite nicely, you know, in the south of France, uh, in Nice, uh, and, you know, at a really, really nice conference facility, uh, and listening to some really, really amazing international speakers. And that, that was when I thought, wow, this, this sounds like a great, great organisation to be a part of. And, you know, wouldn't it be great if, you know, I really, really, you know, took that on board and enjoyed that. What do you think are your main aims and objectives for, for peers once you take over the chairmanship? Um, I am really looking forward to working with the board because we've got a really, really strong board. And I think some of the aims and objectives are things that we have all felt uh, are things that, you know, we really do want to push peers in our direction. The first thing is to increase the number of members who are you know and, and to have a pathway so that if you're not a member at the moment there is a pathway a very clear pathway for you to see how over a period of time you can become a member of peers so just to have a really nice easy transparent membership structure which you can quite easily aspire to the second thing is to increase the amount of diversity i think within people doing implants i'm talking diversity in terms of in terms of color uh, in terms of gender especially gender is probably you know gender and color are the two big ones at the moment and i think dense by serona as a company has really shown its colors on there in terms of it's a very inclusive organization and seeing the flags and everything else that it puts out in important days it, it is noted and something which makes us more comfortable the other thing i think within this is also to allow us to start to engage again you know as clinicians because there's a lot that we can learn from each other we're all using very similar products and within using similar products we are learning and discovering certain things so i think just to have that level of engagement so that you can if you start using a particular implant and you're working with that company you have a pathway that takes you from the day that you place your first implant to the day that you place your last implant and throughout all of that time there is access to more senior clinicians people within the company research opportunities should you do should you choose to do that and i think the opportunity to grow and learn more and also to understand that, you know, we're, we're part of an international organization, you know, peers groups are all over the world and we are just one within the UK. So it's again, connecting with some of the other international organizations within peers and hopefully getting to collaborate so that we get some of their speakers to the UK and some of our speakers from the UK go to their, to their country. So again, that international collaboration is another thing that I would add to that. If I could just take those things in order. So you said about making it easier for people to join peers. My understanding is that it's an invitation only organisation at the moment. How would a clinician get themselves invited to join peers? I, I think because we're starting from quite a, an interesting place, it's an unusual place to start. It feels like you know a lot of the old structures and members that were there some of them have left some of them are no longer working with the company etc so we've had to in some ways make our best guess as the board and the company have had to make their best guess as the company 
we're not going to get all these decisions right. And because we've not got all, all these decisions right, there's going to be some people who, you know, really should be part of the membership that aren't. So it's a way that we're saying to them, listen, we're really sorry if for whatever reason you're not, haven't been included or talked about on this, but this is just because we have to start somewhere. And then I think after that, it will be the sort of people who are, you know, in some ways are looking to kind of develop their career in implantology to work within an organization to understand that, that there is in some ways a little bit of a kind of company and clinician partnership within this. And the sort of people who want to do that, I think opportunities will present. There are already numerous study clubs that are run with Dense by Serona and they, they, they run them under the same umbrella. And within those study clubs, the opportunities to meet reps and meet different people. Well, again, if you're interested, you can just approach some of the reps that you meet or some of the other peers members that you meet and say, look, you're, you're really interested in joining this. What, what do I need to do? And in terms of Dense Ply Serona, how important do you think it is for them to be seen to be involved and supporting a clinician based group like peers? How important is it for them to be seen like that? Does the profession kind of look to companies in that way to be behind this sort of thing? I, th I think it's hugely important for them to be involved in it. One of the interesting things is if we look at peers worldwide, there's an incredibly strong North American group. There's an incredibly strong French group. There's an incredibly strong German, Italian, you know, there, there are groups already there. So this is already happening in other countries and this already works. This works because as a clinician using products, you really sometimes want to be able to give feedback about the products directly to the company. And also as a company putting out products to the market, you want to know from the clinicians, was that any good or not? How do you find that useful? Is this something that works for you? Because I think, you know, what we have to understand is that implant dentistry in some ways is a business. And in being a business, we need to know what products we need to be able to tell the company what products we need to use on our patients. And we need the company to manufacture those products so that we can use them on our patients. So in that scenario, it really does start to bridge that link between you wanting or needing a product or using a product and the company understanding how that product is being used so it can market it more effectively or not, not just market it more effectively, sometimes change and amend it so it's actually worked for you as a clinician. Um, I think one of the things that also happens is a tremendous amount of research goes on behind the scenes in making these products and in terms of bringing things to market. There's acts, there's opportunity through peers, which is, you know, you know, one of the things is the is about research. There's access for you as a clinician, should you choose to do research, you know, there's access to you to start doing that. And I think that's another thing which, you know, we, we should start to encourage because, you know, encourage clinicians within practice to go ahead and you know you know start doing a little bit more research in practice digital dentistry has made a massive difference in the in the last few years to implant dent well to all dentistry but to implant dentistry certainly and is likely to continue do you think that that something like peers helps people keep track of changes and keep abreast of what's going on like as a kind of motivational thing that you you kind of all together and sharing I think one of the yes, I think certainly it really, really does help having regular meetings with, with, with other clinicians and discussing cases, protocols, new advances in the market and having a platform or an area like peers where this can happen it is really, really important. And I think it's, you know, we all thrive on meetings. We all thrive on meeting other people within that space. And sometimes you learn a certain amount at the meeting and sometimes you learn a certain amount after the meeting. You know, sometimes it's those informal one-to-one, -one, you know, maybe over a coffee in the morning kind of chats or, you know, just after lunch. Sometimes you learn the most from there when you get people, you know, when, when they're, you know, very open. So I think that's one of the things that, that, that will prove very useful. I, I think also just, you know, for some people in certain areas where, you know, you don't have access to regular postgraduate education, having more of that available it is useful. But I think in terms of what we're trying to do with peers is, is really to try and work with people who are really, really invested in, in learning more and sharing more. So it's a combination of both of those things. So when you go there, you go there to learn and you also go there to share as well. You talked a little bit about increasing diversity. If you're talking directly to, to somebody who might think, oh, you know, implant dentistry or the peers group, 
or dance supply or you know that's not really for me what what would you say to to encourage those people to to get involved i i would say to that person that you know first and foremost i think peers is a very inclusive group in terms of if you look at on a diversity within the board and in terms of the members who are going to come on the day it is a really really broad diverse range of people i would also like to probably encourage more women to get involved in implantology and i'm hoping that you know by having peers as a platform and by having you know prominent women within the organization this encourages more women to join and to become involved and to also not feel intimidated at meetings because i think you know, I was speaking to someone who said, you know, a lot of meetings that go along and, you know, it's it's just a load of, you know, he said there's a load of bald heads and he would like more than bald heads at implant meetings. And I think it's really, we, you know, dentistry is, you know, predominantly or at least 50% female and we need to encourage implantology to move in that direction as well. And that involves an open place where actually there, there is the opportunity for people to discuss and just feel welcome. So I'd say it's probably it's easier than you think once you step into the space and you will find people that are very welcoming of you whatever your background are you excited at the prospect of steering the peers ship over the next however long i'm really really looking forward to this i've seen peers in action in a couple of other countries and i've seen what they've managed to do when you get a really good kind of partnership between an industry partner and clinicians working together. I, I've seen how it benefits both parties um, immensely. Uh, I've seen, I've been to really, really excellent peers meetings, both here and well, sorry, mainly abroad and seen what's possible. And I'm really looking forward to bringing some of what I've learned from those meetings and from those interactions and from sitting in a group with many other, you know, country, you know, country chairmen of peers and discussing what we're doing, how we're moving it forward, how we're working with our members. And that engagement, I think, is really, really something that that can prove very special. And I'm hoping to be, you know, to to improve, you know, to work on that and to, you know, to to effectively bring the UK up to par with some of our colleagues in other countries in terms of what they're doing. Thanks to Martin for his time today and we wish him every success in his new role with peers. If you'd like to know more about the group, please visit dentsupplysorona.com or talk to your local representative.